A local ranch giving horses a second chance at life using some pretty creative therapy methods. And there is never a dull moment at the Wild Horses Rescue Center, especially because David Martin is there. He's live in Rivard County with more this morning. Hey, David. Hello, we are in Mims, right at the corner of Seminole, Brevard, and Volusia. This is technically in the Volusia County side. Do I have that right, Dan? Yes, it is. And Diane Delano is the owner of the Wild Horse Rescue Center. What do you do? Explain it to us here in layman terms, Wood. Well, we're a Wild Horse Rescue Center. We rescue wild horses from the 10 western states through the Adopt a Horse program. I've been involved with Mustangs for 30 years. Uh, in 2000, I decided to start becoming a rescue because of finding a Lots of Mustangs that people didn't understand. And then in 07, I became a nonprofit. And then I was gifted to having the international program with volunteers in 2012. And so we have people from all over the world come and stay here. We also now have Airbnb where you can come and have an experience. You also can bring 4 H homeschool people here. We also do a Black Stallion reading program. So we do a lot of things. And the reason for that is getting us out there and trying to find funds and having money come in it costs to take care of these beautiful sure horses does. you can sponsor one you can adopt one you can just come out and see us you can come out with a company to do a project day all right you can also do matching funds with your work so right. there's lots of things you can do we're with faith now faith is 14 years old she's originally from oklahoma I left for dead at one point in her life yes she was she came in in 2007 okay so amy has picked out three colors for for her painting that uh, Faith is going to make with, uh, these are safe paints they can eat, of course. They are uh, tempera, they're non-toxic, they're children's paint, and so they taste like, um, kind of like clay, because nope. they're made from the earth. They made so. from the earth, Amy. Okay, so we got the purple, the copper, and of course we're going to add a touch of black to it. Kind of went with a UCF theme, Amy, just so you know, but uh, no, you put the carrots on top of that? Yes, now okay. we're going to put the carrots on there because this is their motivator to paint. So they're starving artists. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you, Faith has been chomping at the bit to get her mouth on those carrots all morning long here prior to this live shot. All right, you put them on the table and then uh, you bring the table right to Faith. And in a matter of about 30 seconds, Amy, you're going to have a one-of-a-kind painting by Faith, a rescued wild Mustang. Now, she is gentle. How long did it take you to gentle the horses? Well, Faith came in in 2007. She was totally wild. There was three of them. And Faith uh, got named Faith because she gentled up so easily. She was real easy to get to like people, and we were able to put the weight on her. And she's a riding horse and she's just wonderful. The other two, Hope, was uh, took a long time to get weight on Hope, and she was really weak for a long time. And Promise, it took me almost over a year to gentle Promise. Promise was very mad, and she didn't like people, and she wasn't really in agreement. so I named her Promise because I promised her her life would be good. Well, you've made all these horses' life great, and I think what you do here is excellent. Can you give us the website? WildHorseRescueCenter.org. And you can be contacted 24 7 on social media as well. So Google this place. It's out here in Mims, kind of by Lake Harney. Are you in Lake Harney? We are Lake Harney. Yeah. We are Lake Harney are Lake. when the hurricanes come. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Thank you, Faith, for that portrait. I know that Amy Caulfield will love it. I do. Put that in her master right. bedroom, maybe, or in her office. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Ladies, Thank back you, to you. Nice work, Diane. Aww.